Hello everyone, I want to show you this cool gadget I've made. I call it Molto Duino and it is basically an Arduino shield that not only enables you to stack Arduinos on top of each other, but also connect them and program them easily. So the board is essentially an Admega 328P uh, microcontroller with its pins uh, broken out on the sides. I initially developed this so to extend my projects with additional programmable cores and resources but on the way I actually found out of a possibly cooler use case that I want to talk to you about in this video. So having an additional microcontroller easily connectable to your development board enables you to run hardware in the loop tests for your hobby embedded projects. You achieve this by mimicking input to the system and verifying its output signals. Let's see what that practically means. Here I have a smart car and I want it to control it via UART. So I have written a very simple program that depending on the serial input it drives in a specific way. So to test this before I had to manually send the commands and observe whether the car behaves properly. Let me show you how. So, let me show you how I was testing things before. So, I would open my serial command window and I would send some kind of command. And the car, let's say now it should start move, moving forward. So, how I would test this, I would, you know, put my hand and make sure all the wheels are turning towards the correct direction. Then I would make it, uh, let's say, go back and yet again ver manually verify it if ev every motor is moving correctly. And that's how I would more or less test it. So this way of testing can be tricky, slow, and the more the functionality increases, the more time it will take me to test the entire system. To make things worse, if I had a bigger robot, Testing it in such a manner would even be dangerous, as it would be heavier and faster. With uh, hardware in the loop testing, this now becomes an automated, faster and safer process. Now we have the first microcontroller running our system software. The second is providing the production's environment input signals, in our case the UART commands. Next, our hardware in the loop simulation microcontroller monitors and verifies the reaction or output signals of the system under test and lets us know if this is the expected behavior. Specifically, to test the smart car, we make sure that for each UART command, our system outputs the correct PWM signal for steering and sets the various pins to the appropriate states for throttling. So let me show you how I would do the same kind of testing but uh, in a smarter hardware in the loop kind of way. I have written my hardware in the loop simulation uh, here uh, where I am providing the UART input to the system and uh, having the different expectations. So let's see how fast it would run this time. As you see it took merely a few seconds to send the appropriate UART commands and to verify the different uh, states. This project is open source. You can find both the hardware as well as the software examples on GitHub. If you want to learn more about it, just click on the attached link. Thank you for watching.